PR Super Vegeta is a former best unit in the game. I believe when he released, uh, he believe he released before the tech androids, uh, where they would steal his title. But I believe at the moment, no unit was really doing what this guy was doing. Leading pure Saiyans, guaranteed stun in the extreme super battle road meta, and uh, guaranteed crits, right? And he had, you know, just such an easy, you know, link skill to fulfill. His his passive wasn't very difficult to get. I've got some, actually, some very good equips on this guy. What the? Oh my goodness. Where did I find this stuff? Plus 900 attack? Where did I find what? EX skill orb. When did you get this equip? <laughs> what the heck? A super attack boost and a level 5 defense. Okay. Wow. My Super Vegeta is suited and booted. <laughs> Whoa, no. Wait, no, yes. Yes. I saw. <laughs> yes, this is the Cell Saga support memory. I saw the Gohan on that. Like, what? That's not going to buff Vegeta. But yes, that is the Cell He is Cell Saga, so. We are being chilling. Let's see. Yeah, our rotations fell flat on their face. <laughs> when do they not? It's alright though, we'll get our rotations, we'll get them. Having trouble there, Vegeta? <laughs> you alright there, Majin Vegeta? Doesn't look, doesn't look like you're getting a super attack, huh? Uh, Int Majin Vegeta does have a Kid Trunks on this team, so he's going to be at full power. Uh, the, the Trunks and Goten units... Um, I mean, they keep spamming Kid Trunks and Kid Gotens. And, I mean, we're just never going to get units as good as the AGL and physical uh, Trunks and Kid Gotens were on release. They were just so unbelievably busted. Yeah, I mean, even today, right? Once we get that go Goten on rotation, they're going to be looking pretty nasty. <sighs> We've got the Tech Vegeta. We're going to be running in slot 1 next to our Super Vegeta because, you know, this is Super Vegeta. And um, this is Super... Yeah, Super Saiyan Vegeta, so we can run them together just fine. As well as this guy. You don't have Prodigies? Oh, right, right, right. Supreme Power. I'm not- I'm not mad at him having supreme power, by the way. I'm, I'm mad at this guy not having supreme power. Uh, but, but this guy, you know, that is a good link. So, Super Vegeta, let's- let's crack open his kit, right? The Book of Super Vegeta. We get- Oh, his, his leader skill, actually, that does matter in this case, because he is a, he was a relevant leader at the time. Master Evolution or Pure Sands. HP 130, attack and defense 170. Okay. Immense damage and guaranteed crits. Pretty much. This, that's his entire super attack effect. And then 150% attack and defense, plus an additional 50% attack and defense when performing a super. And then another 50 when, hit, uh, when getting hit. And then his, uh, his active skill is 50% attack for one turn on the fifth turn when HP is 50% or more. Okay. So he's essentially getting what? 250% attack and defense from his passive. And that's it, right? With his 10,000 defense start of turn. It would have been nice to see him at least get 30% defense on super uh, from his super attack effect, but I guess guaranteed crit is a very strong ability for them to put there, right? The uh, sixth anniversary AGL uh, Evolution Blue, AGL AGL UI Goku and Int Evolution Blue Vegeta, right? Uh, those guys had guaranteed crits, or not guaranteed. They they just had chances to crit in their uh, super attack effects, and they didn't get defense, right? So that that should just tell you how much they value the crits in these guys um super attack effects but they don't really give them anything else however they did kind of 
take a step back on that with Mercenary Tau, but he is a world tournament LR and he didn't even have like stats or like percent buffs in his passive, right? So I guess they kind of throw, uh, they threw him a bone. Your Majin Vegeta is rainbowed. What is with this 175% an attack equip? Bro, he's not going to do damage. Like he, he's just not nine crits. He has guaranteed crits on his active skill. Yeah. Well, my Majin Vegeta, uh, you know, we got that uh, dodge and additional on deck. That is a 30% chance to additional, 20% chance to dodge. Uh, I definitely wouldn't go full dodge on him because you'd literally just be missing out on stats and uh, some additional power. Uh, for his defensive stat. We're not, we're not going to take damage. Uh, nice try, bud, but no. Uh, no thanks. But it did take a little bit of damage. And by that, I mean 15, uh, yeah, 15,000. Well, not 15,000. Uh, I guess 1,500. And now, after all of these years, all those wasting years, we can finally get our rotations in order. We've got the Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta next to STR Super Vegeta, and we have Goten next to Trunks. Uh, you need to stop playing around and get your hits. Or does he? Yeah, because we're going to be going... Oh, no, because Vegeta's going to one-shot me. He's dead. He, he's going to die. This, man, this Int Majin Vegeta team makes me so, so mad. Because the Goku and Gohan uh, unit, right? Uh, they don't really, they don't need another unit on the team, right? They're just them. Vegeta needs a Trunks. But, like, the, the reason everyone was so excited for the Vegeta uh, and his leader skill is because it puts all the Vegetas on a 200%. Right? Every single, uh, yeah, every single Vegeta at every single point of his life, every single saga, every single form is on this team. Uh, but Majin Vegeta is going to get folded if you don't have that Trunks, right? And, I mean, there's no... I mean, you've got... The, uh, what's it called? The LR, Tanabata, Vegeta, and Trunks. But they'll be on the 170 leader skill. Which, I mean, you know, they would they would perform fine on themselves. But again, they drag the team down. They're not at their, you know, full potential. And they do they can take damage nowadays, right? Uh, Metal Cooler Core. Uh, the if Anniversary Sinshin run coming up, they'll take like 300k, seven turns deep. So, you know... We would like to see a, I guess, a Kid Trunks that's just good. Or a Kid Trunks that doesn't need Goten around. A Kid Trunks that would just, I guess, float off. If we get, if we had this physical Kid Trunks and he can keep the, like, if he had the exact same stats that this physical Trunks has after stacking up on rotation for, like, what, six turns? Was it five turns or six turns? It's six turns. So basically, if... After, like after this trunks does his attacks does his super attacks for six turns and doesn't need a trunks on rotation right if we got a just a kid trunks that looks like that and we could just toss him in slot three this team would be much better but almost every single kid trunks in the game right now would need um we need to go 10 on rotation and the reason i say we need a kid trunks is because obviously adult and teen trunks isn't on that team unless Vegeta is involved. No, no, actually no, unless Vegeta is involved, no. Uh, no matter if Vegeta is involved or not. Uh, we are chilling, right? We'll just hop back in. Wait, wait, we'll, we'll, we'll get better rotations this time anyways, right? No, no one can, we, we didn't want to get anything good on that rotation anyways. My goodness, where is this team? There it is. 
good thing our support memory is still up. Uh, that is the good thing about the uh, thousand film reel edition. Is this the exact same? This is worse, actually. I'm gonna have to float off Super Vegeta, and then I'll put. It's gonna be. It's gonna give me trouble floating off Goten, but I'll do it. Wow, we just have to, we have to munch on all those orbs for Goten or else we're just not going to get a super and probably die. Because Goten doesn't have his damage reduction right now. He needs, he needs Trunks on rotation. And I mean, this Majin Vegeta banner unit, uh, they have the chance to give us a good unit, but <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that banner unit right now, bro. I really don't. But I give that... Literally, if that banner unit didn't have to do, like, if that banner unit had all the stats listed on the passive without its restriction, like, they wouldn't even be top five banner units in the game, and they would, they would be worth something, right? Thanks, Gota. Okay. We've got to keep you on rotation. He, do, he doesn't need all six. When, when, when Trunks is on rotation, he really doesn't need all that, but we'll give it to him. Like, literally three key spheres and a super attack is... This is all he needs, right, to uh, tank. But if he's going to be in slot one, you definitely do want those six key spheres. And, of course, my Vegeta has the extra defense from the equip. Yeah, from both equips, right? From the bronze and the gold equip. Give him defense. So he's going to be bing chilling. like the third video I'm, I've recorded today. Do I do I do a triple upload tomorrow? Or today when you guys watch? I might do a double. I don't know if I'm going to do a triple. Uh, I got to get Vegeta's hits in. I, I want to heal, right? But I got to get Vegeta's hits in. So we'll put him in slot two. We'll give those indorbs to the other Majin Vegeta. Like, in, in Majin Vegeta, he hasn't fallen off, right? Like, he is just as good right now as he was when he released. The issue was, even on release, like, it's... He, he just has a lot of defensive utility that you can't access. Like, this, this, um, what's his name? This Super Saiyan Vegeta is a very good option uh, to cover slot 1, because you don't really want Majin Vegeta in slot 1. He is slot 1 capable, but he is not at his best in slot 1. He gets that 30% defense, and I believe it's... how much? Let me take a look. Yeah, 50% defense. He is essentially getting 70% defense when he supers. So you really don't want him in slot 1. We're gonna die if we win. No, no, Goten did get a super in. Okay. Mm, how can I leave? Eh, okay, no wind dwarves for Majin Vegeta. Cool, cool, cool. Obviously, I could just run this team without. Are you kidding me, dude? We could just run this team without having Majin Vegeta have his full passive active, but he's going to be significantly nerfed, and that can cause problems once we get into the physical phase. Um. Wow. Thanks, million. See, I mean, they're probably doing more damage than Majin Vegeta will in this showcase. But this is probably, you know, that's probably the peak of Goten and Trunks units. Uh, unless we potentially could see... Man. We'll be fine in slot one. Okay. There we go. Majin Vegeta will... He might not be able to get six. Though he does get six. I brought a healing item, what am I talking what am I talking about? There's Papa Dende. But he does get the six for his defensive buff. Alright, show me something, Super Vegeta. You're fine. 
this does activate uh made you to support unless it was already active next uh last turn 4.6 uh, you know, this Super Saiyan Vegeta is 55% for me, so he's not, he's not really, he's not really the best Super, Tech Super Saiyan Vegeta you guys, you guys have ever seen. Okay, double super, okay. He essentially just did 12 million damage on this turn. Yeah, I just can't believe people are actually giving Int Majin Vegeta crits. That was insane to me. <laughs> Seeing people give this man crits. Oh, uh, I'll put you in slot one. Well, I mean, not that it matters, right? Actually... Because we need to give that Kamaji Vegeta four key spheres to get his super attack. Oh, well, they just dropped anyways. Turn in 40k defense. All he's, I mean, he's getting 30% defense with the three key spheres and then 50 on his super attack, so. We'll see how he handles that. Uh, by the way, that, uh, that uh, Majin Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, I guess they are in line for easy A's, right? Uh, they are, they're New Year's, correct? They're not Golden Week, not Golden Week. Golden Week that year. Uh, this is, I always get this confused. They, these are, these are New Year units, not Golden Week. Who was for Golden Week? Who was for Golden Week that year? It was. It wasn't. It wasn't Boo and Gotenks because that was the year after. Was it Vegeta and Trunks? Not Vegeta and Trunks. Am I? Uh, Zamasu and Trunks. Was it them? I'm not sure. I believe Vegeta's still guarding. I think. I don't, I don't know. Who cares? Uh, 150k defense. Sure. He'll be at 300k by the time he supers and takes a hit. Uh, he needs an easy A, that's not good, right? We're obviously not looking for 300k defense. He is guarding, he is guarding, he is guarding, he's guarding, he's guarding, he's guarding. Let's go, Vegeta, show me something. Vegeta, he's guarding, let's go. He's not guarding anymore, so we do have to... Uh, we have to watch Bulma get slapped next turn. <laughs> well, he does, he does transform, so he does turn to Super Saiyan 2. I don't think his links change. I got. I actually have to check. Yeah, guaranteed stun. Very useful in the cell fight. Majin Vegeta. What's the attack stat? Six million. Yeah. Trunks and Goten are doing more. Speaking of Trunks and Goten, uh, physical and Trunks and Goten. I can't wait to see what their EZA is looking like because they have a lot of ridiculousness in their passive. All right, who am I putting in slot one? Goten. We'll grab the one physical key sphere with trunks, and then all of the key spheres can go straight to Majin Vegeta. You would just super before we even do anything. We've got the damage reduction. Their defense is stacked from their super attack effect, so yeah. Cell Max can't strip all of our defense away with his debuff. Additional normal, okay. It is what it is. You're up, Trunks. Six milli. Additional. Thank you. Six point four. Uh, watch Int Majin Vegeta drop a five point four. Five point one. My bad. But you know he's not taking damage from anything, right? Super attack or otherwise. Easy double digits. Wow, he does. Oh, the debuff. The, the debuff. Yeah. 
that that allowed it to go from double digits to actual damage uh we survived this turn i'm actually not going to transform because that means vegeta will have a lower start of turn defensive stat uh we're, we're, we already have type advantage so i'm not concerned with the guard right but um let's go uh super vegeta will stun right so we're gonna survive this turn regardless the super attack is not killing this vegeta Uh, while we're still below, like, a certain threshold, uh, Int Majin Vegeta will continuously create uh, Int Key Spheres for us to grab and heal up with. Uh, I mean, STR Vegeta, he's very effective for this fight. He'll be going in slot 1 in the next phase because we'll be facing a physical boss, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab these Int Orbs first so we can grab the STRs and leave the Int Key Spheres open for Majin Vegeta. Goten's attack stat should be higher since he has been doing more additionals throughout this fight than Trunks has. Never mind, 5.8. I guess Royal Lineage does give attack, huh? Goten doesn't have Kamehameha active, but Trunks has, uh, what's it called? Royal Lineage. Unless Royal Lineage does something weird like lower enemy defense, but I'm pretty sure it gives attack. Oh, and he got the crit. We're, we're back to full health, boys. Um, Goten took, what, like 300k uh, in slot 1, so after Trunks Super, he might, you know, drop that down to 150 and allow us to survive on this turn. Oh, well, he's just not going to super. No. Sure, sure. Goodbye. Wait, no, not goodbye. I'm sorry, Majin Vegeta does not do that damage. He he doesn't he doesn't got it like that. Oh, I so want to stall, but I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yeah, there's no way I can stall. My only fear. Is that next turn he's gonna he's, he's gonna he's gonna pack up goten and trunks real quick and we're not gonna see majin vegeta uh posted up in slot one and at that point i'm just gonna end the showcase because i'm not i'm not sitting through another 15 minute recording <laughs> we saw him at his max but Why, why just not have six key spheres, right? That, that would really just be it. Yeah, sure. Uh, who's going in slot one? Rock, paper, scissors, trucks. I mean, it doesn't really matter for Tech Majin Vegeta because he's not getting attacked anyways. Sure, we can't we can't even get it if we want it. <laughs> Trunks is dead if he catches a super. Uh, he's got 18% damage reduction and 300k defense. Goodbye, Trunks. All right, this is the end of the showcase. I will catch you guys in the next one. Um, 600k. <laughs> sure. If I, you know, if I brought that movie hero support memory, maybe. Because he's on movie heroes. But that was STR Super Vegeta. If you're fighting a boss that uh, can be stunned, make no mistake, this guy is probably like one of the units you want to bring. Uh, I mean, the fact that we even made it that far was thanks to this Vegeta here. Uh, the cell fight you can stun for quite some time in there. But I guess we'll be waiting for his easy. He's not even like he's not even on the wait list yet, right? Uh, he was ahead of him. I guess all of 2021, right? I think. Uh, I don't remember if 2021 started with Int Gogeta or uh, physical 
golden Frieza or a physical angel golden Frieza. We're not even done. Uh, we already started with 2020, but we haven't started with 2021 yet. So this guy's 2022. He's a while away. He's already aged out though. So let's see. Oh, we're already we're already looking at his team. He's on heavenly events. Power beyond Super Saiyan. You are on this team. Your easy A is next anniversary, I believe. Uh, full power. Is that a 200? That, full power has to be a 200%, right? Kale? Okay, well, it's Kale. Uh, I don't remember what Kale's entire leader skill is, but I'm pretty sure uh, full power is part of it. Let me just double check. Let me see, Int Kale, yeah, okay. But I guess, like, if we get an, uh, ult an Ultra Eagle, right, Vegeta, uh, uh, I doubt he would lead Vegeta's family. He would probably bring, like, he'd probably turn Berserker, the League skill, into a category, right? Uh, where? Oh, wait, yeah, you. Actually, you have Berserker, don't you? Not here, but here. No. No, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of the other guy. I'm thinking of this guy. How did I miss that? Right? If we turn this into a category, <laughs> it's gonna be a horrible team. But it's uh it's gonna be like very obvious who's gonna be on it, right? Uh hmm. I mean, you guys can click off the video. I'm, I'm just like, I'm going through my own head on Dokkan right now, but basically every single Broly, right? SDR, where's SDR Broly? Oh wait, no, yeah, he's, he's an early release, so he's down here. So basically every single Broly, almost all of the kills. Um, the masked characters, right? Nappa. It'd be an interesting category. Uh, it wouldn't. It won't be like a pivotal. I want to say pivotal. Uh, well, I guess yeah, because like like androids, pure sands, earthlings, and it just grabs like a whole bunch of units and throws them into one box, and you get leader skills that are like pure sands and super saiyan, or like Goku's family and pure sands, and this will kind of be like the I guess like a secondary. You know what I mean? If they just drop this. And you could say, like, oh, we already have a Berserker category, it's literally just full power, but not everyone on this category is full power, like Nappa, for an example, uh, or Base Broly. Uh, Mira. Wait a second. I have... I just remembered something. Whoa, it's my goodness. Uh huh. I got, I got another 200% leader skill I can uh, bump out, but I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, I've got tons of 200% leader skills to get to. Uh, I don't know if I'm not gonna. I probably shouldn't bore you guys with like too many 200% leader skills, so just let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about in Dokkan. I'll always be looking for stuff to talk about in Dokkan. Maybe do some commentary, maybe. Uh, I guess do some more tier list. We'll see. We'll see. I will catch you guys in the next video.